This is a man called Robert Forsterman. <laughs> if you don't know who he is, he's a speed cyclist for the Olympics. Look at the size of his legs. That is a 200 kilogram split squat that he's doing. Just makes you feel like a little willy. That looks like a really good thing to elevate your rear foot on. Yeah, Isn't I was it? thinking that. Like, I'd love one of them. Is that like a rolling... Does that roll? It must be designed. So like and slide. Because that's, I mean, that's the, incredible. one of the big ball aches of split squats, isn't it? Like, what do you put your rear foot in? Well, yeah, or on. So we've tried TRX and it, it's pretty unsafe. So that, you know, we were talking about these the other day. That is exactly how I do split squats. I just use much less weight. That's the key thing. You, you just don't do it with 200 kilograms. Yeah. So honestly, I, so I do that exact, exact movement in the exact same way. My squat at the moment will be like a one RM would be like two, four, five, two fifty kilos. My max, I'll do like fifty to sixty kilo split squat for a set of ten, and it is a it is a legit RPE eight or nine, like really hard sixty kilos. To to imagine and what two you're a man kilos with a two sixty max I'd squat. Sorry. This will look great on the replay because as you were finding that, I, I literally just said exactly what my Did score you? Oh, was. I was just in the hole. But you were... <laughs> <laughs> Yusuf just doesn't listen. He just doesn't listen. Um, it'll be like 245, 250 at the moment. Okay. So like uh, within a week. So like with, literally within a week of one another, it'll be, I'll have done a 240 squat and then 60 kilos for 10 split squat. Now it could just be that my split squat's terrible. That's more than likely, but it's more, the question I want the answer to is, what does this man do when he is using both legs? Yeah, true. Well, here he is. Because that's a, easier, isn't it? On a ergom ergometer, ergometer with yeah. 300 kilogram resistance. Has he broken the chain? I think so. There's one where he does a, a sprint cycle on a exercise bike and it's... Looks like it's about a break. Maybe one he of looks like he's in like in generally in like really good shape as well. Like he's not just got big legs. Oh, here we go. So that is, that's not sped up. Two hundred and seventy-five RPM. With stuff like that, though, it's difficult. I mean, I'm sure that's extremely impressive, but neither of us have got a baseline to compare it to. On a similar note, I discovered this the other day. So Rogue Fitness held a competition for how long can you hang for right and this guy did it for one hour and 20 seconds i honestly i think i'd struggle to do two minutes yeah just set the timer right. must have been a really unpleasant hour yeah well especially the last couple like because it's hard in two minutes towards the end but the question is like, when does the pain kick in, kick in for him? Like what percentage of the time is he in like ridiculous levels of pain just fighting through it? Or is it just easy the whole time? I mean, I felt it right in my medial epicondyles just watching that. <laughs> Such a the, um So that, that kind of ties into what I was going to say about the cyclist guy. Like there must be, there's a, there's a level with all of this stuff where actually the cyclist would be better off being lighter like you'd be better off having smaller legs and being lighter and would therefore go faster. And in, in the same with like hanging, it's this balance of like, do I work on my forearm strength and like build my upper body or am I best just being as light as I can be and it being easy to, to hold my body weight? Depends on the constraints or the parameters of the rest of the sport, doesn't it? So like when Marius mm. Bajanovsky smashed the, um, was it the 100 meter row? Uh, like power output. Uh, you mean um, Brian Shaw? Was it? Five, it was 500 meters, and it was Brian. I think Marius I gave it a go as well, but but yeah, oh, perhaps. Um, great, but put Brian Shaw in a in a little boat with some little men, <laughs> and <laughs> let us know what you guys think about Rob Forsterman. I mean, he's it's got a big split squat, hasn't he? And that's really that's the top and bottom of it. Yeah, I mean. I, 
I struggle to believe that he's natural. Just looking at looking at that. The thick the thickness. Such what do you think your one RM split squat has done in that manner? I've never tried. I've never gone come even close, but I reckon. It'll be like, it'll be under 120, maybe 90, 100, and it'll be a proper face-busting max. Proper teaser, yeah. So I think my estimated 1RM from the sets that I do, excuse me, is about 100 kilos. Because it's not just half your squat, is it? It's a lot more no. complicated. Yeah, because you, your knees, you know, <laughs> on the way down. Like, I think, because I have the, the occasional rep where i will lose my balance and it's horrendous mm. so I, I have to do it in like a power rack in case i dip either side but i think the uplift and difficulty from even like 50 kilos to 60 kilos and 60 to 70 it doesn't feel like a 10 kilo jump it feels like a 40 kilo 50 kilo jump on a normal squat because yeah. it's all go it's there's so much balance involved and stabilization involved in it it is nasty so credit um, Credit to him. I should say, Impressive. Beck on Team Propane has given us a fantastic tip for split squats, which I recommend that you try out. Uh, not not just you, Johnny, but well, you plural. Is You as in them. <laughs> so rather than doing them with two dumbbells, just do it with one heavier dumbbell in the opposite hand to the foot that's forward. So left foot forward, hold the dumbbell in your right hand, and with your left hand, hold on to a rack or something to stabilize yourself. And a rock. It's yeah, it's just great for really mind muscle connection. You get a proper proper burny ass because you're not worrying so much about trying to like wobble left and right. You can just really go and you, you can add the sound effects as well. The classic David Lloyd sound effects of the sah, sah. <laughs> sevens. Sets of seven. Yeah. Always sets of seven. I actually did split squats on Friday and my bum is still sore. It's presently Monday. Same. It always happens with split squats. Several days. Imagine worth. if it was if it was two hundred kilos, imagine. Because he was doing multiple reps as well. It wasn't a show off one rep thing. It was just Yeah, and it wasn't like a wobbly, shaky two hundred kilos, was it? it? It looked fairly comfortable. Just groove. It looked like he'd maybe even done multiple sets at that weight. Crazy. Hooligan. 